Zach Monotimus is proud to present. This game is an unofficial fan game, and I played with the team. Some other I couldn't read that in time. DLC, No More Nice Natsuki! Oh my gosh. What's up, Sally? Welcome to No More Nice Natsuki. Hey, Mod, where Natsuki is done being nice, apparently. Let's start the experience, I guess. Is it recording? Hmm. Good, it's getting ready to start recording. Took a bit, but this thing is now assisting with the production of my next vlog. <laughs> so, and that's how it is, eh? After big torment over the course of this week, this is how the week concludes, right? Never thought my life would get this far, but here I am. Hey there, Natsuki. This has been a really rough week for me. First, I tried to get a burger, but the fast food place ran out of ground beef to make them. Next, Siri ate everything I baked while trying to make myself a cooking show. My hard work went down the drain and that really sucks ass. After that, Siri had the balls to steal my cookies so that I'd starve for the remainder of the week. And I still haven't eaten anything ever since that specific day. This is unforgivable. So you might be wondering what I've been up to recently following these events. And why am I recording this vlog using a cheap fucking tripod? Dad took away my phone a few minutes ago after he saw how much bandwidth I've been using. And it's just brutally unfair. Everyone I dislike in the club, as well as my dad, must pay for making me suffer. I can't stand being treated like garbage any longer. It pains me to say this, but I really should have done this a while ago. It's time to be bad! If people are just going to call me cute, but I can't read that fast enough. It's, it's too fast. I cannot read that quickly. Especially not that fun. You'll just have to pause the video, dear viewer, and read it yourself. I know I will be. Probably. If I feel like it. Like, way too fast. Like, way too fast. My goodness. Okay, I just need to put one more thing on to finish this physical transformation. Where do I usually stash my sleeveless jacket? I know, it's under my bed. Damn, the jacket's not under my bed. Where the hell do I put it? Uh, did I leave it hanging by the front door? I guess so. I should probably go get it. Just having some trouble there? Oh, for fuck's sake! Just one moment, please. I needed to turn the, the volume in my own ears. I can clearly see that my dad went the extra mile and also locked me right in my own room. Or locked me tight in my arm. I can jump out through the window, but I'll break every bone in my body if I do that. Now how the hell am I going to get my door open so that I'm able to plot my well-needed revenge against my dad and Monica? But what did Monica have anything to do with it? <laughs> An idea has arisen from the ashes. I might actually just have a handy dandy paper clip in my room somewhere. I'll bend the clip into an L shape, leaving a fold across the shorter side. And then I'll slip the short bent side of the clip into the bottom of the lock and turn the clip in order to open the door. I'm such a genius. Time to lock pick this door and get the fuck out of here. Was that supposed to be censored? It, you know, it probably is, unlike a different aspect ratio. Oh yes, at last. I get some peace and quiet. Now that I've taken away her phone, she won't be uh, blaring like a horn anymore. Locking that in the bedroom was such a grand idea, too. He looks so content with himself. <laughs> what the? Did she just find a way to unlock her door from the other side? Damn it, I knew I shouldn't have bought her a pack of paper clips last week. Now I have to deal with that noisy lockpicker. I hear every door you open, chump. 
Well then, I suppose I'll arm myself up with a weapon to teach her not to start lockpicking. Hup. And get near me and I'll bash this empty soda bottle outside your head. My god. You finally changed your appearance. You finally grew up. Technically, I'm still the same old pile of dirt you see me as. You thought locking me in my own room was a good idea, eh, Dad? Well, I learned how to lockpick today. You will pay for stealing my phone big time. Actually, I took it away because you've been using my for way too much data on it. You do realize that this family has a low budget, right? That current phone bill is skyrocketing to the moon. I don't give a shit! Now then, that jerk has been knocked out. Hopefully this teaches him a lesson on not stealing other people's electronics without their consent. Now I think it's time for me to grab my jacket and head off to school. I have some unfinished business to take care of. Well, you know, if if it's it wouldn't be stealing if the thing was given with consent. That's borrowing. Oh, these fancy transitions, man. It it er, are we still Natsuki? It is another completely normal day at the literature club, except for the assumption that Natsuki has cut school today. Oh no, it couldn't be then. Well, I don't know who we are then. Whether this was on purpose or something important is going on in her life and she couldn't make it. End of sentence fragment. Admittingly, that really stinks. Okay, everyone. Today is a free day, so you can all do whatever you see fit. Provided that you also remain aware of the school rules, of course. At that moment, my friend Yuri comes up to me. Alright, so we're either Sayori or MC. Hey, Ellie. What's up, Yuri? Have you seen Natsuki at all today? Unfortunately, no. I haven't seen her today. I assume she either cut school, took a sick day, or had some urgent matter going on. That really sucks. I was actually looking forward to reading manga with Natsuki today. Ah, oh, don't worry, Ellie. I'm sure she'll be back on Monday. Gee, I hope so. I really don't want anything bad happening to her. Us friends must look out for each other and to maintain a strong mental bond. Suddenly, Yuri and I start hearing the sound of metal cleat. Or metal cleats? Yeah, a pounding the hallway. The noise steadily increases in volume until. Oh my word. Instead of wearing her uniform, Natsuki is wearing clothes that scream dark and edgy. Her metal cleats poke bo or holes through the wooden floor. She is standing comfortably with sweatpants and a rather simple t-shirt with a skull on it. A sleeveless jacket is draped over her the, sh over her the shirt, <laughs> adding on to the extra punkish appearance. Natsuki's hair seems fully loose, though her hairpin is back to ma er, black to match the gothic aesthetic. And is that black and magenta nail polish? Sup, dummies! Decided to change my look since everyone keeps calling me cute! Now y'all no longer have any reason to continue dubbing me as cute. Cause now I am quite literally not cute. How do I look? Uh, well, you, you see, I I think you're... Spit it out, Hallie. If you want to say something, don't stutter. Um, oh, yes. I know what I want to say about your appearance. You look marvelous. Damn right I am, dummy. I only just changed my appearance a little bit. It's nothing, really. I'm still the same Natsuki element. However, I'm much stronger and more confident. I will fall for nothing. Nothing. Well, I must say, Natsuki, I like this new appearance of yours. That outfit of yours totally screams out the punkish aesthetic. Hey, I want to ask you something. What is it? Yuri and I were just wondering. We haven't seen you at school today. Any particular reason why you weren't here until now? I take a look into my messages app via my phone. And what's with these random photos of some man taking selfies that were sent to all contacts? Oh yeah, about that. Um, well, my dad took away my phone because I was using too much data on it. And then he had the most, or the utmost balls to lock me in my own room. It would be utmost with a T. I decided to bust myself out by doing a little bit of lock picking. It was actually pretty easy to do. All I needed was a paperclip and to an L shape. In order for me to get my phone back, I knocked my dad out with a mighty big punch to his broken ass stomach. 
kill the old code for a long time. So, in a way, you killed him? No! I literally just said that I knocked my dead out cold! That punch in his stomach was enough for him to stay immobilized until the next sunrise! Oh, you are indeed very strong. You can lift me up and throw me across the room if you wanted to. Give me one more stupid comment from you and I might do just that! Alright. I took a step back and proceeded to zip my lip. Proceed. Present tense. That's gay. As much as I really like your gothic aesthetic, you shouldn't be wearing that here. We have a uniform policy at this school, and... I don't care! Uniforms are so cringe! Besides, it gets extremely irritating to wear a uniform for every day we go to school! Even on school events, we have to wear our uniforms! They're stuffy, disgusting, and such policy should not exist in this institution! Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go read my manga! If any one of you bother me, you'll be knocked out cold for the entire weekend! Natsuki walks off to the closet. Yuri and I both exchange nervous looks. I hope this delinquent behavior is just a temporary thing. If I have to deal with this kind of behavior 24-7, I'll go crazy. I agree, Hallie. I like the new look, but her attitude is another story entirely. The same old toxic attitude. What the fuck?! Not this again! Like all the time, Natsuki retains the sheer hatred of trying to reach her manga perched on the top shelf. Given the new attitude, it seems that Natsuki has had it up to here with this nonsense. Up to the top shelf. <laughs> I watch from a more than respectable distance to see how this whole manga positioning ordeal goes as of right now. Hey, Monica! What is the meaning of this? We've been over this so many times, Natsuki. The teachers don't want to have these kinds of books in low places. Who cares about the teachers? All they have to do is to learn to deal with my manga being on a shelf that's not so fucking high up, that's all! They can stash their own bogus paperback shit on the top shelf for all I care! It might critically be uncomfortable if the teachers have to teach or reach into the top shelf just to get work for students to do. Also, why aren't you in your uniform? You know we have a strict uniform policy within this specific campus! Uniforms are for wusses! And I'm not a wuss! I should write you up for the insubordination and violating the dress code! Nope! If you dare write me up, I'll strangle you to death! Don't mess with me! I don't like this behavior of yours! Oh! She was saying something, Natsuki, and then you bashed her rudely. Oh, no. Now, no, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to write you up, right? I will at least trust you not to tell anyone about what you saw me do. I swear to God, if you tell on me, you'll get slammed into the stomach, too. Got it? At that moment, I cautiously walk closer to Natsuki. A second passes, and Yuri does the same. Both of us nod in agreement. Yeah. We understand, Natsuki. We swear not to tell anyone about what we saw and what you did. Yeah. Hands God, we will not or snitch. Snitches get stitches, after all. And we don't want any stitches. Good. I'm glad that both of you are so understanding. I happen to know who moved your manga, though. Monica didn't do it this time. You know who moved my manga and it wasn't Monica? Who moved my manga, then? Was it you, Hallie? Me? No. I calmly placed my right hand on top of my chest. I would never do such a thing. Stop lying, Hallie. I'll even prove that you did by taking a look at the security footage recorded on that camera I mounted inside the closet wall yesterday. Okay. It even records audio so that I know the voice of whoever had the boss to move my manga. Natsuki whips out her phone and connects it to the security camera feed via Bluetooth. She uses the DUR feature to go backward to the moment a peculiar figure walked in frame. Oh, what? A tall girl is in the frame. Part of her hair waved around and slightly heaved breathing can be heard. Or slightly heavy breathing? No, that is what it said. I remember a real tough time with this font, man. The girl grabbed a hold of the manga and shoved it onto the top shelf. That bitch. Her manga is so dilapidated. Grow up, mate. The figure scoffs and walks out of the frame. Stop her... Yeah, stopping the footage and putting the phone away in her pocket, Natsuki grits her clean, 
and grits her clean teeth, and it gives Yuri a chilling glare. Yuri? He called my manga dilapidated! Uh, Ellie, can we talk outside real quick? Sure. Yuri pulls my hand as we step outside the room. Oh, that was a strong tug. Hey, Ellie. We have been together for quite a while now, right? Yeah. What's up? Would you mind if I let you in on a little secret? Sure. Tell me all about it. Whatever secret you want to reveal to me, I'll make note of it not to tell anyone about it. Good. You are so wise, Ellie. Anyway, I used to read manga when I was little. I have read lots of different series. By the time I saw the first Parfait Girls volume come out, I gave it a quick try. Looking at the contents, I realized that I was wasting my life with reading manga. Parfait Girls is something out of a children's book in terms of art style and quality. Parfait Girls? A children's quality book series? Strange. I don't see anything wrong with the art style. I shrugged.